Okay, welcome back everyone. This is Eric Malkavian, and I am in the world of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines as the Diablerist. The Clan Quest Mod 4.0 by Burgermeister. Let's continue. Your Diablerist. Notice the blood splatters. Be devouring soon. Okay, save the prostitute. That's all that you saw being attacked. She indulged your thirst as a reward. Okay, poison the well to do. That's something that we have to do up in Hollywood. I have another project in Hollywood as well. Currently. We are on a mission for Damsel. Ready to go see a gentleman by the name of Paul, who looked like death, deader than we are. <laughs> Skyline Apartments. Let's see what Paul's at. Five. So uh, I feel like crap. Actually, I need to ask you a favor. Could you pay me up for some medicine at the store? <laughs> I hate to bother you, but I can't seem to get out of bed. The code on the door is 1203. Hey, listen, I uh, had a really good time the other night. Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, bye. Let's do it again. Okay.
Hello, it's Paul. Hammer. Oh. I know you. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <coughs> you're the girl I gave the blood to. Paul was blinded by the light. What? <coughs> Who are you? I'm going to call the police. I wouldn't do that. Let the veil, some madness, paint your vision of Paul. Oh, oh I knew it was you. <coughs> I knew you'd come to take care of me. Oh, yes, little sweet fly. Tell me it's a sickening spider. It bit you. Oh, Paul, you say the most beautiful things. Trust me. You want to know how I got sick? How sweet of you to ask. <laughs> Tell me your tale, little fly. <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. <laughs> Did you dance with the spider, little fly? Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. <coughs> Tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know. I mean, mm -mm. I'm not usually, you know, into women, but I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. Cemetery runoff, congealing well, the next thing that's clear is when I woke up the next morning. <coughs> I've been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who've, who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know? <coughs> tell me of the kind of dancing you do, little fly. Okay, okay. I'm a professional escort. So the spider paid to bring you to her parlor. Where is this black widow? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> Paul, I really like you. You were so nice to me the other night. I don't, I don't meet a lot of guys like you. Your loose lifestyle has doomed Paul to the flames of hell, little dirty boy. What? You son of a... <coughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> you get the hell out of here! Oh, I don't have to take. Oh God! Oh God! I can't breathe. 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 Help! Echo by angels, we not over the spoiled soul of a paid seductress. I saw numbers fly. Oh, well. I did the so. Ooh, 200. An envelope containing a bit of cash. Nothing else. That's all she had. Apparently, she got nothing from Miss Locke. Let's see what's going on. Oh. What do we have here? Appointment. Where'd she go? El Capa. Not sure. Well, this looks like a standard appointment book. September 5th, 2004, Arthur killed Patrick the Arthur at his place in Santa Monica. Remember to bring the handcuffs and orange jumpsuit as he likes to play lockdown at the women's prison. This guy is sick. Yes, he is. Bandle C, 730 at the blood bank. <laughs> bring pliers and the blowtorch. 
David Hatter, room 413 at Lucky Star Hollywood. He likes that weird umbrella f- and water balloon thing. Hmm. Someone to visit in Hollywood. Simon Milligan, downstairs in his room. God, I hate that guy. Look at he is. Paul Anderson, an Scott day. I can't believe he asked me out. I'm so excited. Jezebel Luck. New client responded to my ad in the paper. Back page. She has a suite at the Empire Hotel. I don't know what to think of this one, but there's something about her. Her voice. I don't know. She's offering big bucks, so I guess I can't pass it up. You might have won a past on that one. Simon Milligan. Let's check him out. Oops. Okay, I got. I wonder what that Simon Milligan guy is up to. Having a little difficulty. I'll have to go to Paul's apartment. Okay, let's do that. The TV must be unplugged.
Oh, yeah, who do we have here? Are you a believer, little morsel? Hmm? Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? Yes. Are you the wicked witch? Queen. Ah, Queen? yes. I am Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. You are Malkavian, are you not? What are you? Speaking in twisted riddles, your eyes dancing with visions they don't understand. Won't you dance with Jezebel, little morsel? <laughs> You're a dangerous dark beauty without compare. Oh, come on now. Don't deny yourself the pleasure of Jezebel's talents. Just a few more steps, and we can be enveloped by the sweet darkness, become Sick, slaves yes. to the desires of our wasted flesh. There's a strange seduction in your viral reproduction. Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the Ninth Circle. And I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. I came unprepared. Sounds cool. Is this some kind of club? Where can I join? Yes, I follow the path of the Ninth Circle. Come and join the enlightened, indulging your animal instincts until both kine and kindred lie spent upon the altar. 
Desire will be our truth. Desire and the death that follows. Well, I like unliving. I wish to dwell these deeper truths with you, Dark Queen. I cannot control my hunger any longer. Come, the truth will be shown to you as I drink the blood from your twice lifeless body. Oh, it will be ecstasy. Oh, ecstasy, little morsel. Sweet ecstasy. Let us dance till one sleeps with devils. Hey, stop it there. Oh. You should not have been able to survive that. Better than a doornail. I'll not die. Oh, yeah. Who do we have here? Are you a believer, little morsel? Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? Oh, you think we get with Queen? Ah, yes. I am Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. You are Malkavian, are you not? Speaking in twisted riddles, your eyes dancing with visions they don't understand. Won't you dance with Jezebel, little morsel? You are the dark, dangerous beauty without companions. Oh, come on now. Don't deny yourself the pleasure of Jezebel's talents. Just a few more steps and we can be enveloped by the sweet darkness. Become slaves to the desires of our wasted flesh. Is this strange seduction in your viral reproduction? Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the night circle. And I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. Uh, sounds cool. Like some kind of club. Where can yes. I join? I follow the path of the Ninth Circle. Come and join the Enlightened, indulging your animal instincts until both kind and kindred lie spent upon the altar. Desire will be our truth. Desire and the death that follows. I wish to tell these deathly truths with you. I cannot control my hunger any longer. Come. The truth will be shown to you as I drink the blood from your twice lifeless body. Oh, it will be ecstasy. Oh, ecstasy, little morsel. Sweet ecstasy. I like it where it is. <laughs> you seem to be stuck behind the door. Your madness will die you! Your madness will drive you insane! The madness will hit your soul! Flames 
Evil Dead, you're so alive! I will catch you fire! Flames of hell!
It's dead. It's done with him. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he thought he'd get over it. Men are stubborn that way. This proves the plague bearer's gotta be found. The plague pigeon is extinct. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. More pigeons for the cats to get. I begin my pearl. And their painted blood will clog the gutters of the city. I can begin. disease that haunts the homeless. <coughs> oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't mm -hmm. you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! Sing the song of season sickness, soulless one! Ah, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some Jabber. kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Where is the man of the cans? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Farewell, my bedraggled beauty. there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is, is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Uh, I see you wear the Dark Brother's mark. Eh? <coughs> Dark Brother? What are you talking about? It's just me, old Tin Can Bill. Now leave an old man alone to sleep in peace. I don't want to be bothered unless you've got a bottle to share. Had the shadows of the past. I want your presence speak. There's a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and his eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before. Still giving me bad <laughs> dreams. Keep your tongue wagging. He grabbed me. Threw me over her shoulder. Took me to the bad place. The dark place. <coughs> oh, God. The smell. Worse than anything I've... And then he bit me. My neck. <laughs> oh, God. It was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <coughs> <laughs> 
Haven't been feeling too well since then. Yo, <laughs> Hooch. Where did the bestial brother take you? <laughs> Came up through the sewers, he did. Just around the corner there. <laughs> Don't want to go back to the bad place, friend. <laughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there. <laughs> that takes too long and climb your spite so so I savor this last long liquor break always down alone. has pointed you in the direction near the sewer where he took his last breath as the possible home of the plague bear. Seems to be saying something about don't cry, that floppy, but you can't possibly be reading right any probability at least two. I need a melee ability at least two. Get lost. Get lost. <laughs> Thank you.
down here, did you? Following the smell of entrails and rotting yes. flesh. Looking for a free meal, little bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. Say. Ah, this place is the dark and devilish as my soul. The doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss. The terrible mysteries of the night. Do you speak of the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle? The Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> What is the business of the bestial brother? Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot-ripped mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. Why do you prey on society's dregs? They are the weak, sick, hopeless... I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. Alpha Yes. Truth, Knight. I join you, putrid. Come. Potter. Join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh. Seems we will not unite, dear brother. I will send your ashes to the ninth flames. I shall put you in the flames of all the better. Your brain shall explode to me.
Simple speak to your mind. Yeah, I see this. Pretty sure I've seen it around here somewhere. One of the buildings, I think. Yeah. Your eyes, memory, and seek it your fire. Ganzo has told you that the symbol in the fire found when you killed the and play there is off on the building in
enlightened yet, brother? Yes, I am, brother. I seen the light. I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The Bishop will see you upstairs. Sure he will. you get summoned? You're going uh, upstairs to see the bishop? Yeah. Your words are twisting my skull like taffy. You're n new to the brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened. I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when mm. the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned. And then you go up these um, these stairs up to the the t temple. Tell me of this torrid temple. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend snuck up there a few days ago. Said mm. she saw things bad, bad things. Yeah. What vile visions? Blood. She said, um, b -b blood everywhere. She, um, she saw a few of the summoned to try to, uh, oh, to talk to them, but they just, <laughs> just stared at her with these, um, these woo blank looks, you know? No, one of them, uh, started reaching for her, and <laughs> she, she ran away. Soon you will be summoned and revel in these dark rituals. Yeah, yeah. I know. The, the bishop said we have to shed our um, our uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle. But I'm um, scared to go upstairs. I I just uh, I just I just want to go home. You know I want to go home. Why not walk out the door behind me? Shed your fear. Death has come for the bishop and his brotherhood. <laughs> Partake of it. Please, I... I just... I want to go home. Just leave, <laughs> then.
brother. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? You've come to the right place, brother. We got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> ah, the disease risen demigod. <coughs> <coughs> uh, uh, disease. Brother, you've got to open your mind. One man's disease is another man's sanctity. Here among the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle, we have shed these earthly labels. Come, partake of our divine communion. Need I speak with you to join this gruesome gathering? They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, brother? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Do your days also end with Gehenna? Gehenna, Judgment Day, the Apocalypse again. Brother, you are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason. No all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, brother. There is no God who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become God, and the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. <coughs> Until we have all journeyed below into the Ninth Circle. I do wish to ride your evil fame, O oh, Minister of the Macabre. The time for words has come and gone, my brother. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. I will urinate on your ashy remains, Bishop. <sighs> Follow your foolish minions! But the powers are being stalled! Your freedom! I shall cook you, Bishop Dick! Hey,
Oh, oh. Thus ending their disease. Spreading religion report back to the Amazon. We killed all three barriers. Report back to the region. Still, I can't thank you enough. Come here and collect your reward, hero. Thank you. Your gratitude is unspoken, but is loudly heard. You are insatiable. Still, I can't thank you enough. Come here and collect your reward, hero. Well. 
king. The king of the carrier pigeons and all his filthy chicks are finally extinct. You killed all of them? You. Huh. Hmm. So I guess you want me to thank you or something? Kiss me. Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. You are a thorny and fire-breathing damsel, but I would still rescue you. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Cammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's gotta lack the restraint to keep their mouth shut. Hmm. Maybe. See you, then. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? I have been of assistance. Might we trade words, Wizard King? Of course. I broke the withered horse, the pestilence, and his dark bishop is in the grave. You have? Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? Hard to say, but a bishop fix sat upon the withered horse. Tell me of this so-called bishop. He wished to close the curtain on our cursed drama. Hmm, I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business, I have a debt to pay you for your services. I do thank you. And what treasures? If you so desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. I will take your treasure tales then. A wise decision, Neil Nate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well. One thing more. Of course. I'm no longer here. Let's see what he 
A wallet. Wonderful. Oh. Blood star. All kindred have the innate power to push their undead bodies to the height of mortal capacity, but only for a moment and at a dire cost of blood. This eldritch talisman was crafted to boost his ability. Blood buff has twice the duration. Excellent. That's all I see. the way out. Okay, now that we've broken the power of the Plague Bearer, I'm going to head down to Santa Monica but that will be for another episode. I want to thank you for watching. This is Eric Malkavian, your Diabolist, here in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Using the Clan Quest Mod 4.0 by Burgermeister. And I will be back shortly. Thank you for watching. Cemetery yeah. runoff congealing at the door. Just like he said, goodbye.